See what happens uh, in order to solve for a normal distribution you can never calculate the probability of x at a given value or at a particular point right hence uh, no question for a normal distribution uh, what is continuous in nature will talk about probability of x at a given value within the distribution because uh, the area of a line under the curve is equal to zero right so here it is asking that the mean weight of a me, uh, morning breakfast carol pack is 0.295 kg with a standard deviation of 0.025 kg right so the random variable weight of the pack follow a normal distribution okay so the question first is what is the probability that the pack weighs less than 0.28 kg right and what is the probability that the pack weighs more than 0.35 kg and what is the probability that a pack weighs between 0.26 kg to 0.34 kg right so uh, if you want to calculate uh, what is area under the curve for a particular line that is the uh, uh, probability of x is equal to a particular value uh, it is always going to be zero right so whenever the line is positioned uh, with the curve okay so let's say uh, what we will do is first uh, for this question we will import sci-fi that stats for statistics now we will uh, get the z score or the z score for the uh, 0.28 kg uh, with respect to the uh, mean of 0.295 having a standard deviation of 0.25 okay so for z score of uh, this what we'll do is we will uh, subtract 0.28 uh, minus our uh, the 0.95 kg and divided by the standard deviation so this way we will get the z score so this is nearly 0. Uh, minus 0.56 okay so this is nearly uh, minus 0 0.64 so this is nearly uh, minus 0 0.6 uh, then what is the area of the left of the same so this is what uh, we need to find out okay so for the area of the uh, left side of the curve so uh, if the area to the left of the curve for z value of 0.6 on the negative side uh, that is uh, 0. minus 0. 0.6 so that will give me a fair enough idea on solving the first problem okay that is this one so in order to uh, find area under the curve uh, what we will do is we will uh, use here stats dot normal as norm dot cdf cds is nothing but it is cumulative density function or we can say uh, continuous area of the curve okay so which is uh, left of uh, 0. Uh, nearly 28 that representing a z distribution at uh, that representing z distribution as minus 0. 0.6 all right so uh, this is nothing but uh, we can say that 27.4% chances are there that the pack weighs less than 0 0.28 kg okay similarly for the second question uh, what is the probability that the pack weighs more than 0 0.350 all right so in order to get that again we will apply the same method again to subtract that 0 0.35 minus our uh, curl pack that is uh, 2.95 or we can say the mean value and we are dividing that with the standard deviation so here you can see we got the uh, nearly 2.2 percent uh, right so we can say there are 2.2 percent chances uh, that the pack weighs more than 0 0.35 percent now next question is what is the probability that the pack weighs between 0 0.26 kg to 0 0.34 kg okay so in order to do that what we will do here this time we will subtract the normal cdf of 2.2 that we got for the uh, more than 0 0.35 all right and we are subtracting that from 1 so this way we will get the value ranges right 
and uh, to get that we uh, are getting z score of z1 and z score for z2 for uh, both the observations okay then we are telling that z score of uh, 2.6 and z score for 3.4 z score of uh, 2 z score of 0.26 and z score of 0.34 right and then we are applying the cdf function with z2 right and subtracting that with g1 so this will give me the 88 or we can say 0.88 so that means 88 percent chances are there that the pack weighs between 0.260 kg to 0.340 kg all right yeah thank you